Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video we're going to be looking at fitting some windows and starting the carpet lining in the bus. She's beginning to look quite nice. This is a series on the Black Beauty. I must add that my, um, my youngest uh, has been desperate to help me so she's been doing some of the filming. Bear with it. <laughs> it's a little bit of wooey, but she she gets there in the end. She's only five, so let's get started on fitting a window and doing a bit of carpet lining on the Black Beauty. So if you've had your roof done, what you're going to want to do is tidy up the edges first. Um, now I've sprayed my spray glue onto the side here, and I'm literally just going to run a blade along the excess part of the canvas that I don't need which is this part, I'm going to cut it all off. So let me just run that down here and up onto there and just shape it round. Okay, once we've done that, because you're going to want to carpet, you're going to want to carpet right up to this edge. Okay, but we're going to look at the carpet in a mo because we've got to cut out the window. Right, what we're going to do is using a um, metal circular saw, this one is 57mm which is also the same size as the hub mod if you want to do that at some stage. Uh, we're going to cut a hole in each of the corners. Now I'm just going to start with this one so you can sort of see the process and then I'm just going to move around and get the others done. So you want to line it up as close to the corner as you can. This is so that you're, when you actually start sawing, you've only literally got to aim for the corners and you haven't got any cur a curves to go around. Drill through with obviously the drill bit and then lightly go through with the hole saw. do that on all four corners. Now all four holes are done what we're going to do is go out on the outside and we're going to do some masking up. Stick to the tape. <laughs> yeah all right so we've done the masking up so what we've done is we've gone from roughly the corner where the holes are mind your fingers down mind your fingers <laughs> down to the bottom area and along. Uh, I've put some more tape down here um, so that the uh, metal filing don't just sit on the corner. It's very windy outside today as you can see. Uh, okay so there's the holes. Now we're going to get inside and drill out or cut out the window. <laughs> This is what I'm going to use for the job. Um, it might seem a little bit beasty. Um, there are several things you can use. You can use a um, jigsaw, you can use a pair of the scissors that do the cutting for you, the metal scissors. You can use a nibbler, um, you can use a air saw. Um, but this is the only one that I've got hold of at the moment, which is a little bit hardcore, but as you can see, um, I've done the other windows behind me. So we've cut both sides. Now I'm going to cut to this section here along the top and to this section here along the bottom. So I guess it's fine having like um, young kids and that wanting to help you. In my case, she's just helping filming, she's nowhere near it. But she keeps going, oh can I help, can I help, can I help? So what we're going to do so that she doesn't need to help is re-tape over some of the cut edges now. So that once I finish completely cutting, 
it doesn't just fall in the van or out the van. You can see here that this tape now is collecting some of the shards of metal so it's not going all over the van either. Happy days. I've literally just got this little bit in the middle, sorry, this little bit in the middle here and this little bit in the middle here to sort out. cut and because I use the tape I can now remove it inside the van and not risk dropping it outside the van. Which is all cut all the way around. What you'll notice if you get close right in is all these like little burrs, little fragments of metal. So what we're going to do now is just going to sand them down using a sander or a file or something and just remove those and then we can get on to carpet lining so what i've done is i've got my carpet in position and i've held it with a couple of clamps i've got one at this end and i've got one at that end you'll notice that the carpet itself is a couple of inches above the um, bracket that goes around the edge that holds the canvas on that's about a good amount left at the top of wastage I can't particularly do anything with that and at the bottom you're gonna have another sort of three or four inches again I can't particularly do anything with that what we're gonna do is work our way from here to the back and then down so this is what I would call a more professional car window carpet lining style Excuse me. What we're going to do is spray right around the edge, um, about sort of 10, 12 mil on. It doesn't matter if you make a little bit more of a mistake because we're going to be cleaning that up before we place the window in. And then you're going to basically cut a big X in the window carpet area. You're going to trim off the excess, leaving yourself a couple of inches all the way around. In the corners you then just got sort of gonna knife the edge but i'll show you that in a second oh, i can leave the blade there Woo and then you're going to peel and stick over the top of the window frame that makes sense uh, you get a much better finish it looks a bit smarter on the inside too so let's crack on and get that bit done so what you're going to do is you're going to pull the carpet round and over and then when you get to the corners See just up here, I've cut like a couple of sections here, and I'll just finish this last little bit here. Uh, and once you've done that and you're happy with that, you're just going to take a Stanley blade, which I put over here, and without cutting your arm off, you're going to try just tidy that edge up a little bit there a little bit there and again around the corners and around the top there's my corner piece I always somehow manage to cut myself from those Stanley Bays. Yeah, you would have seen if you um, have been following my Instagram, or if you follow my Instagram as well, you would have noticed that I posted about cutting my finger. Uh, yes, <laughs> I cut my finger quite badly. Uh, I'd say, I'd say I nearly cut it off. Um, Although I didn't have stitches, I had 
a lot of butterfly stitches, kind of just holding it together, which is pretty gross. Uh, anyway, so I was in and out in a couple of seconds, got that sorted, uh, and they were like, what were you doing? I was like, uh, nothing. Uh, anyway, so, now we can get this glue residue cleaned up around the outside, give the van a little bit of a wipe down, get the glue on and cleaned up, get the glue on and then get the window on. When you put the window in itself, I suggest that you work from the top first, okay, and then you ease the window in downwards, okay, you can then get the position you're looking for. Once you've done that, get your masking tape out. The masking tape will hold the window in the position you've left it in. It's not physically going to hold the window on. But it won't drop from that position. Boom. Right, let's finish the carpet lining. So I've got a fair bit of the carpet lining in. Um, you can see here I'm going to be putting a false window on that side um, because the kitchen itself will run all the way along and probably um, be going up around that point there um, with a cupboard and stuff at the back here. Uh, I've got some of the curtains in. I haven't done a curtain video, you've seen me do a curtain video before, they are relatively simple, um, again these curtains are from um, VW Transporters, they are okay this time around, um, I'm having a few issues with the rear ones, um, I'd say not quite as good this time around, having to bend them slightly and what have you, not 100% happy. But I will make them work, so I'm not fussed. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, the carpet lining still needs a few little bits up in the top there to sort out, and in the top here as well. Uh, I've got a rear box going in the back here. Um, I am going to carpet this, it's, it's going to be covered. Uh, I've got a rear box going to go in here when I do the kitchen video. Um, Evo Designs Kitchen. Uh, it's got a um, rear sort of pod thing and I'm also going to add some speakers and stuff in it so that should be pretty cool um, but you'll see that in the audio video at some stage when I add the speakers uh, what else have I got to tell you that's gone on with the carpet um, pretty happy uh, it looks pretty stunning I'll spin around on the other side here This side is nearly finished. Um, this is the side that I guess you'll see most of. You've got uh, a section here which is going to have a USB and some sort of light for when you're in the bed. I haven't decided on where that's going yet, hence why this area here isn't attached. Uh, I've got a little USB there as well for when you're traveling, when you're sat on the bed at the back here, you can plug in two areas, which is handy. Thanks for watching this video chaps and chapesses. Um, I hope you find some of it useful. Again, it's not really a sort of a DIY sort of stuff. Um, I am showing you a little bit of how I'm doing it and how you can do it yourself. Um, but I'm just wanting to show you how this van's coming together uh, and it's looking really good. So catch us in the next video guys and I will see you all soon. Stay safe.